I am the body snatcher. You know we love tummy tucks on this show. Welcome back to Unboxing. Welcome back, loyal fight fans, to another round of Unboxing. You know to eat that shit up, dude. I am very grateful for the views for the thumbs up, for the comments. It inspires me with the passion to come back here and talk more fights. It's something that I had, you know, not really the time frame for on Monday's episode to talk about. So we're gonna discuss it now because it deserves it. The co-main event of the Gervonta Davis Roly Romero card is Arislandi Lara versus Gary O'Sullivan. What a great fight. Gary O'Sullivan, good old Irish boy, always comes to fight, very good scrapper, uh, very dogged kind of human being in general. Um, and uh, he's curling the mustache like your boy too, okay? Let's not leave that out. Now listen, Gary O'Sullivan's a good fighter. He has some good wins. He was undefeated for a long time until uh, Billy Joe Saunders took that away from him. His other losses are, are to good guys too. You know, David Lemieux, who, who went to war with the Mexican monster last Saturday. He has a win over Gary O'Sullivan. Uh, Gary O'Sullivan's, uh, his, what's his other losses there? Jaime Munguia. Um, these are all, so he, he takes some losses to kind of the best guys, um, but, 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 but will really just every time bring the fight. And if it's not like an elite fighter, an elite opponent that he's facing, he'll run over and straight knock dudes out. Um, he's, a, he's a good scrapper. He's a good kind of a, 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 a inside fighter. Um, he likes the fight to get gritty. He likes it to be a fight and not really a boxing match. Uh, and this is just such an interesting competition uh, that we're gonna see on Saturday because Arizlandi Lara, you guys know, if you've listened to this goddamn show, you guys should know. I've been a fan of Arizlandi Lara for a long time. We've touched on multiple different episodes how we always come back to, you know, Arizlandi Lara is one of the guys that I truly thought beat Canelo. And this was long before this Bibble, you know, fight. And yeah, the first Triple G fight was one of them. But uh, yeah, Arizlandi Lara is a, 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 a great boxer incredible head movement, incredible angle cutting, incredible footwork. He made Canelo miss all night long, kind of, you know. I, I thought that he should have won that fight. Some people don't care for that kind of fighting style. He is, you know, sitting more of late. He's sitting down on his punches a little more, and I think that suits him well. Um, he has so many years of experience and this kind of boxing ability and IQ in the ring that... You know, you don't really have to hone that so much more. It's good that he's leaning into sitting down on his punches a little more and trying to trade a little bit more. He'll need a lot of the boxing ability in this Gary O'Sullivan fight. Um, you know, but I, I think, you know, Gary O'Sullivan obviously wants him to scrap with him. He wants him to stand there. He likes what he sees, that he's been trading a little bit more, that he's trying to land some more power shots lately. Uh, uh, that must be something that... Gary O'Sullivan sees and his team and, and hopes that that is the version of Arizlandi Lara that comes to the ring on Saturday night because if we get the Arizlandi Lara of old uh, with all that boxing ability um, and he is choosing to stay on his bicycle, I've always thought with all those guys like Lara, like Guillermo Rigondeau, those kind of guys I appreciate a lot, but even, even, and, and a lot of people don't, but, uh, even people like me, you know, uh, who appreciate the hell out of those guys, they do need to throw a little more punches. That's that that uh, it's good to stand your bike. It's good. that's a hard talent to learn. It's a lot easier to come forward and be aggressive and learn how to throw your hands in combinations and just try to be a little defensively sound as far as keeping your glove up to your chin or your head, you know, than it is to. Uh, have incredible footwork, ring generalship, ring IQ, incredible head movement, incredible countering, timing. These, these things are so much harder to hone a skill at, um, you know, directly, that only these few kind of guys like Lara and, and like Rigandau kind of do. Um, 
if if we get the Arslan de Lara of old that'll move around like that, Gary Sullivan can't hit him. He's not going to be able to hit him because Arslan de Lara, we've already seen him in many different fights against just being honest, better opponents than Gary Sullivan. I'm a fucking Irishman. I love that guy. He's twirling his goddamn stash like a boy. You know, I mean, come on. But the the truth is, is that, yeah, Lars just fought better opponents that have tried to walk him down and do that to him. But now that he's staying a little bit more in the pocket, a little bit longer, he's not doing what I would, would have uh, recommended, like I said, which is keep all the defense, keep all the movement, stay on your bicycle, use all that because you're making people miss. They just can't hit you. And then simply instead of one great, perfectly timed counter here and there, toss the jab out there a little more. He's leaning more into trying to sit down on his punches now and knock people out. I mean, that's a little far on the other end of the spectrum from what he's uh, used to doing. But either way, he's just, Lara is such an accomplished, fantastic fighter. Um, and he, and, and him in this blend of coming from that kind of move around style more into trading a little bit more, keeping a little bit of that. It's very interesting to see him a guy uh, uh, against a guy like O'Sullivan who comes to fight and wants to constantly walk his opponents down. And listen, all those Gary O'Sullivan fights that he had lost, again, we said it, good competition, like, you know, Billy Joe Saunders, Jaime Munguia, um, you know, uh, David Lemieux, that, that's good competition is the only kind that can beat him. Um, but even in those losing efforts, he's, he never stops trying, man. So we, when he's getting hurt, when he's losing all these rounds, when he's getting abused in there, kind of even, he still never deters from walk my opponent down and try to land shots. I want my head in his chest. I want a dirty, in, dirty boxing inside kind of fighting fight. Um, that's what he wants. That's always been his MO. And the interesting thing will be to see if Lara, how Lara plays with that. Because if he's moving around, yeah, Sullivan can't hit him. Now, here's the other part. Because he doesn't throw his hands enough when he's especially the Arizlandi Lara of old, especially moving around nothing but it, kind of not letting his hands go. Um, I appreciate that boxing ability. I think he should have won uh, that Canelo fight that, that would have been huge for him. Um, but because he doesn't throw the jab out there, because he doesn't let his hands go in that kind of style of old, he lost that Canelo fight and he, uh, you know, guys like him, guys like Rigondeaux, uh, <clears throat> like Guillermo Rigondeaux, like in Guillermo Rigondeaux's last fight that I thought he should have won as well. Um, guys that fight like that. Um, that are on their bicycle using their movement and staying away and making people miss, but they're not landing punishing blows themselves either. They tend to kind of get the shaft on the judges' scorecards. And also being that they fight that way, it's not as much a question of if it goes all the way, it will go all the way, right? It will go all the way. Um, and then the only question is, a lot of judges don't appreciate that kind of stuff. A lot of fans don't appreciate that kind of fighting. So, and that kind of ability, I mean, because they don't know what they're looking at, to be honest. But, um, so the only question is, does, do, does he catch the shaft on the decision? Uh, because that tends to happen to guys like that. Uh, I love both these guys. I'm happy with whoever wins. I would say that if you want an underdog pick, you go, you don't go O'Sullivan by knockout for sure. Listen, don't do that. Uh, I would say that you go O'Sullivan, who's an underdog, and then you can even put by decision, because um, I'm fairly certain he will not be able to knock out um, Arizlandi Lara. So if you go O'Sullivan by decision, you're getting really good odds, really good plus money with that, um, being as that he's an underdog in general, and then also narrowing it down by a decision victory, which would be uh, how it would probably play out. Um, yeah, the judges give the shaft a lot. So if you see Arizlandi Lara kind of winning this fight and looking like he is outboxing um, O'Sullivan the whole time, if it goes the distance and he didn't let his hands go enough, even though O'Sullivan couldn't hit him, they tend to just kind of give it to the guys that are putting on forward pressure. Um, and then if you wanted something more safe, uh, maybe go Arizlandi Lara to win. 
you know, and, and hope that he will blend the two styles together well. And if you're going to do that, because Arzlandi Lara is a favorite um, in this, if you're going to bet him to win, then also parlay that with the tank bet, and then you can get some slight plus money. Um, so you're not putting up a lot of money to, to, to win some money. Those are kind of safe. We're going to ride with one or the other, and you take your pick. But until next time, loyal fight fans, um, let's enjoy these fights. This is a great co-main event to a, to a great fight, and boxing needs more of this. More good co-main events, man. Throw a third fight in there, and we're really talking about competing with uh, you know viewership with the UFC. Boxing already has it. We've we've already we've always had it. It's a very old sport that people have always enjoyed, and and the big problem is just not getting these cards stacked enough. You know, the first part of the whole fighter pay thing. They're getting they're getting paid very well, so they can't put a lot of names that you recognize on these cards. Um, and also the you know different. Listen, if you want to hear about promotion stuff, I have a video about that as well. Check out the channel. I really appreciate all the views, you guys. I appreciate them. I appreciate new subscriptions from you guys. Um, anything you'd ever like to discuss, I've always said this. Leave it in the comments. I'd love to touch on it. Um, yeah, yeah. Until next time, enjoy the fights. Uh, have a safe Saturday, and definitely just try to hang out with some friends, some family, some loved ones. Uh, Drink a little beer and enjoy the fights.